not, you know. Chicago people, uh, university don't come again. No, hmm. no be small expose. Oh, after the other party hold their neck, say, I beg. Now they won't see exactly that result of Tinubu. May they do what he may they leak, may they expose the data, make everybody see the way that they see their own in the university. What Tinubu attend, they won't know. My people, the uh, Chicago University don't see, say everywhere the other party don't hold their neck because they don't receive letter from many lawyers where they don't try to carry them go court. Now they come finally release. Oh, no be smart, you know. No be waiting with the expect. No be we can go jam. Oh, my people, no be smart, you know. Even APC people don't come outside. Oh, where they can't do, do it, they can't uh, uh, do it. They can't accuse the Chicago University saying that they make mistake oh, with Tinubu, eh, Ajo, everything on oh, the person that they make mistake. Oh. My people not be small while well, I did for grand. Oh. My people not be small, big girl. Even this away Apple so my people. Chicago people don't finally put fire for Tinubu Nyasho because eh, Tinubu no expect say Chicago people, eh, Chicago University go feed do them. Do, do do him like this, my people. You don't set. Make one go watch video. Make one see, but on a set. Make one see say another fire on the mountain. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Thursday said a clerical error is responsible for discrepancies on the certificate issued to him by the Chicago State University. Well, according to Tinubu's lawyers, an unidentified clerk of the university made the error about the date the school stated on his recently issued certificate. Tinubu's lawyers argued that the university incorrectly wrote the date of graduation as June 27th, 1979, instead of June 22nd, 1979, along with a change in the university's logo, which created the appearance of differences between an earlier issued diploma and the one issued in response to a 2022 subpoena. The claim is in their response to a suit filed by former Vice President Atiku Abubakar seeking the disclosure of Tinubu's academic records from the university. Well, users on social media have shared mixed reactions. Before I take tweets, Rufai, mm. you know, I'd love for you to just chime in here because you know that this issue of whether certificates forgery has been, you know, on the forefront of all eyes on the judiciary. No, but we just have to state clearly that anything happening in American courts is of no consequence mm -hmm. to what the judiciary has reserved a date for radio. This is separate mm -hmm. from it. But there's been many conversations around this Chicago debacle. And many cases have been filed. Mm -hmm. And many subpoenas have been issued, all right, as regards this. And some actors somewhere have orchestrated also many lies. One of them, I think we had to talk about this around November last year, was that we brought to fore that there had been a case filed as regards this conundrum of certificates mm. at the court in Abuja. I think it was a federal high court or something. I don't know the jurisdiction of the court now. Where in Nahuru Eba, a lawyer said that he had instructed his partner, Knowles, in Chicago to subpoena Chicago to get details of, you know, degrees and all of that, and school records and all of that. And he said this was at variance with what the president, you know, now yeah. sent to INEC then. Right. There's that conundrum. And I think we talked emphatically as regards this. That was what happened then. Now, Alaji Atiku Abubakar in America also using the court system to be able to know more. And in fact, I think for the sake of clarification, you know, somebody had claimed that they even went to Chicago. <laughs> I know that somebody, somebody. <laughs> the point I made yes. was the person claimed they went to Chicago on the 19th mm. of September. That was the day they visited Chicago. But why is it that the document the person claimed Chicago gave them was unsigned and it was dated in June. So there's been a lot of conundrum. And I would like the courts to be able to unpack it. But Alaji Atiku Abaka has filed in America. Mm -hmm. And the response of the Tinubu team now 
is the fact that there was a clerical error as regards date of graduation and the likes and all of that. Whatever it is, this matter is sub judice and the court will rule. What I just gave is a hitherto background. I will not talk about a matter that is sub judice. Right. All right. But there's been a lot of back and forth and confusion as regards this. So let's see how this court process pans out. The deposition and the reportage is all there for all to read. Right. Pure and simple. Well, you know that the United States had given a Tinubu until August 23rd, that is what, two days ago? Yeah. To, you know, give reasons as to why his records should not be released to the former vice president. In, um, as it has been mentioned already, it's, this matter has come up a number of times, and um, in the last election, it tried to, you know, some people try to bring it up again, especially Absolutely. from the opposition. And it is important, even though it has no bearing on the judgment that's reserved by, you know, that's in court currently mm -hmm. in terms of the presidential election um, petition tribunal, I think it's important for Nigerians to know the truth, mm -hmm. even if it's just for, to put it on the record. And then, Chicago, one thing about the United States of America is that they, they will uphold the rule of law. And so even though Chicago State University hitherto had not wanted to and had given a post-dated um, date to release the details of, um, of, of, um, you know, of, of the school records, by the act of law, the former um, vice president, former vice president Atuku has been able to um, place a demand for them to release it. So the onus would be on them then to see if they are going to do so or not. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, even though as has been established, it has no bearing on the judgment, it is important for Nigerians to know the truth. And let's put to pay, let's put pay to this conversation around, oh, where's your background? What school did Absolutely. you attend? What school didn't you attend? I think we just, let's just have closure. You know, as a people, I think that's all that I would say about this one. Yes, absolutely. Well, we'll move on to another story. My people, now the video now on a new watch for Nisu. On a see what it happened for inside the video. All right, my people. I would like to end the video for you. Make let me know waiting on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make you subscribe. So that you're not going to miss any latest gist way at the upload. Now, bye-bye till I come on a next time. Bye, guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.